Right. Um, on this lesson, we'll be looking at the derivatives of uh, trigonometric functions. Uh, it's a very important topic aspect in uh, in our work of calculus. So um, there are some rules that we naturally need to know before we do that. For example, here, let me just take these ones. Yes, uh, that is to say, if you differentiate sine x, you get um, cos um, cos x. If you differentiate cos x, you get minus sine x. If you differentiate tan, you get sec squared. If you differentiate cosec, you get minus cosec x cot x. If you differentiate sec x, you get sec x tan x. If you differentiate cot x, you get co minus cosec squared x. Uh, these are some of the rules that you need to have. Um, but uh, the most important ones are these ones. Because those ones, you can use them to prove almost anything. So, to say, for example, if you differentiate sine, you get cos. You differentiate cos, you get um, minus uh, sine of x. So, those are very important. Now, we are going to move by means of... Um, of examples uh, so I'll be giving a number of examples for us to be able to use for example here if I say y um, if in this case I say uh, our y is equal to sine x plus cos x so we are differentiating which now means it now becomes dy dx will now becomes if you differentiate sine x you get cos x plus if you differentiate cos x you get minus sine x let's have it yes there we are you differentiate cos x you get minus sine x that is very important so which means here it becomes a uh, minus in this case it becomes a um, minus um, sine x that's it then next let's now look at um, uh, another example uh, in this case um, I'm going to give you if you're given y is equal to sine of 2x so um, that one again is a very important question um, so which means here yeah, it will be now equal to um, in this case we say uh, dy dy dx will now be equal to if you differentiate sine you get a cos so which means it will be cos of 2x multiplied by then multiplied by the derivative of this part here so which means it will be multiplied by d of 2x dx uh, differentiating 2x there it gives us a 2 so the final answer becomes 2 uh, 2 cos 2x uh, that's the final answer then um, that becomes our final answer here now uh, continuing with that with one more example actually we'll have a number of examples so that we can be able to understand all right uh, the next example now is going to be on uh, it's going to be y is equal to cos of open bracket 1 minus x squared so we want to differentiate that uh, minus x uh, squared here as we differentiate that it means we'll say uh, dy dx is equal to you differentiate 
a course here it means in this case it will give us um, a minus so which means it will be minus sign open bracket this one you keep it the way it is one minus x squared multiplied by then you now differentiate this one if you differentiate it it becomes minus 2x so much so that now when i multiply try to put this in front it now becomes positive so it will be positive 2x multiplied by sine into 1 minus x squared that becomes the derivative there right um going on further uh we can even take it on and say here for example if you are given um y is equal to tan to the power 3 x um so as we differentiate tan we need to be careful now here uh so this is just like we are saying y is equal to uh, tan x raised to the power of 3. So much so that now when you are differentiating it, you, you always start with, uh, with the power. That is, as you differentiate it with respect to the power, it now becomes here uh, dy dx equals 2 differentiating with respect to power it becomes 3 into tan x to the power of 3 minus 1 multiplied by now we need to check now what do we get when we differentiate a tan let me get our result i'm sure you can see that when you differentiate a tan as I make it a bit bigger, when you differentiate a tan, you get uh, in this case um, sec squared. When you differentiate tan, you get a sec squared. So that is a very important result which we need to be able to understand. That is to say, when you differentiate a tan, you get a sec uh, squared. That is also very important. So, which means here it will be multiplied by. Uh, in this case, when you differentiate a tan, you get uh, sec squared x. So, which means the answer, it becomes 3 tan squared x multiplied by uh, sec squared x good let me give another example again uh, so that you can be able to understand exactly this part for example if i give you uh, y equals to sine cubed x see that one sine cubed x almost exactly like the one that we had above which means when we differentiate it uh, we are saying y is equals to sine x raised to the power of 3 so which means in this case it's uh, going to be uh, dy dx is equal to dropping the 3 here 3 into sine x to the power 3 minus 1 multiplied by then when you differentiate sine you get a cos x then when you differentiate this x, you get a times 1. So much so that the, now the answer in this case, it now becomes um, 3 sine squared x multiplied by cos x. Good. That becomes the answer. Can you see it's, the question is almost like this one that we had for tan tan cubed so the first thing is you always uh, differentiate it with the power so it's first with the power the trig 
than the algebra so that's that's the technique that you must always um uh, use when you are differentiating trigonometry um if i may write it down it's uh, we are saying first you differentiate with respect to power then to the trig then to the algebra so um um if i you may allow me to say always look for p t a approach power the trig then the algebra so that's how you uh, differentiate them right um if i can give you another one it's uh, saying if i say in this case y is equals to cos to the power 7 of x squared so first we differentiate to the power which means it will be dy dx is equals to 7 cos of 7 minus 1 for now we maintain our x squared multiplied by then we go to t the algebra the trigonometry if you differentiate cos you get a sign so you get a um, differentiate cos you get a minus sign then into uh, remember here it's multiplying into x um, in this case it into x into x squared multiplied by then you go to this um, function there which is a we differentiate uh, sorry, uh, our a that's the algebra part which is x squared you differentiate it you get 2x so much so that the final answer becomes 2 times minus times 7 which is minus 14 cos to the power 6 x squared sine x squared multiplied by x uh, can you allow me to put this x in front here together with the 14 which means it will be equal to minus 14x cos to the power 6x squared sine x squared that becomes um, the final answer there right uh, as we move on let me also give you another example uh, for example if i give you y is equal to in this case x sine x right this is also another important one uh, we can even use differentiation by um, differentiation by parts i'm um, sorry differentiation using the product rule that is the product rule sorry by parts is for integration so here we differentiate using the product rule that is to say uh you you are liking it to y equals to uv which means here dy dx or y dash will be equals to u dash multiplied by v plus now we are differentiating v multiplying by u so that's it exactly which means here from our function here we are given y equals to x sine x which now becomes here dy dx equals to first we differentiate x when you differentiate x you get a one multiplied by sine x plus now next we now differentiate this which i will be my v which you, uh, then the x will be constant multiply by sine if i differentiate sine i get a cos x so much so that it now becomes equals to sine x plus in this case um, x cos x good so those are some of the questions that we must be able to do as well uh, going forward let me also find another one uh, let's uh, let's do this one 
if you are given in this case y equals to uh, sine 2x over x um, it's another one again this one we use now the quotient rule which means when we are given y equals to um, u over v it means we will say it's equals to in this case dy dx will be equals to u dash you in you differentiate the numerator multiply by v minus you now differentiate the denominator which is v multiplied by u all over v squared you square the denominator so the same applies here which means here my numerator dy dx will now be equal to i differentiate the numerator as i differentiate sine 2x it gives me a uh, 2 cos 2x that is if i differentiate this multiply by in this case x minus uh, now um now i differentiate x if i differentiate x which is my u i get a 1 multiply by the numerator i keep it constant which is sine to x all over the denominator v squared in this case it's x squared then going forward this now um becomes 2 uh, actually i can even multiply by the x in front so it becomes um 2x cos 2x minus sine 2x minus sine 2x all over x squared so this is very important and each time that you are doing this you always need to be able to check your work if i may go back again can you see here we used integration by parts then here again we use the tpta method you integrate the power first then the trigonometry then the algebra then here <coughs> we used we are drilling on the same thing again the same applies there uh and it's very important and if i may also emphasize you always need to be able to refer to your formulas here and it's always provided in the in the in the exams for you so thank you so much i would like to thank you for watching may you also please be able to subscribe as well as um like and comment and also request if you have a specific uh a section that you want me to do for you thank you